keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're gonna talk about the best comp guard build in NBA 2K24, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. As like of the video puts the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you know the game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. So uh, first and foremost, left or right hand, it doesn't really matter. Um, whatever hand you choose is not going to change the build at all. Um, we do want to stay at, we want to go to 6'3", 198 pounds with a 6'6 wingspan. We want to make sure we get the 96 three ball. So that's the reason why you want to drop your wingspan in 96. Um, weight does not really matter. Um, you know, you can do whatever you want. Like if you can go higher, more higher on the weight if you want to have a different body shape. But that's pretty much it. Um, so what we're going to do first is go on our speed. Uh, speed, we're going to go 86. This is to get that speed booster and hyperdrive on gold, okay? Um, pretty self-explanatory there. Don't need to go much further than that. Same thing for our acceleration. We're going 83 on acceleration. That is to get our blow buys on gold, all right? So we're trying to shoot for these gold badges. Um, you will, by default, get your triple strike on gold also. So that's going to be really strong. Now, for the strength, we're actually going to put strength on this one. We're going to go 60 on the strength. This will give us our fearless finisher on silver and you will get physical handles on bronze it's very important your vert we just want to go to 59 so we can get area wizard on bronze that's it no don't need to go any higher than that because you're not really shooting for any type of crazy dunks anyway all right you do got to go 99 on your stamina that is going to get your handles for days on hall of fame so for the most part the physicals are pretty much in line to where most guards will be comp guards will be now i know some people will go 73 on the acceleration they don't feel like they need the acceleration that's 100 percent your call i'm not trying to cookie cookie cut nobody if you want to drop your acceleration down go ahead i know some people that want to have the acceleration higher right you want to do that by all means make it happen right there's nothing wrong with that if you was to make your acceleration higher you probably want to touch the finishing okay but um, I'm going 80 on the driving layup. Um, I've been speaking about this for the longest. You want to get your layup timing on with Pro Touch on Hall of Fame. That's going to be very huge for you, okay? Hall of Fame Pro Touch, layup time is really strong. You want to have that ability with your layup timing on. Have your layup meter on or off, doesn't really matter. Obviously, you get a boost with your layup meter off, 20% boost with your layup meter off, but it's 100% your preference. Um, again, it's just about what you want, but I will always say go 80 driving layup. Um, you get Russell Westbrook and um, Jimmy Butler. Those are really good layup packages you get at um, 80. Um, then you want to go 75 with your driving dunk, okay? So we are going to add driving dunk to this because um, I feel like, you you know, the ability to finish at the basket with a quick dunk is important. So 65 to 75 um, is a really good, some really good dunk packages. Obviously, 75 will have, um, in my opinion, the ones that you would really want at a uh, smaller guard. But the ability to get to the basket and dunk it is going to be important. So you want to have that ability. Um, and then you want to go 50 on the standing dunk. Um, the, again, just to be under the basket to get those quick standing dunks are going to be important. So um, having those basic standing dunk animations um, is going to be really good for this because if you get to the basket, you stop, and then you can just get the standing dunk. That's going to be really important. Um, the driving dunk, again, if you look at everything here, I mean, you still get bunnies on silver. You get your spin cycle and two-step on gold, which for the most part, you're probably going to utilize these two a lot, the spin cycle and the two-step. Um, bunnies is more so like a pure, like, you know, really physical hop, you know, one jump type dunk. But I don't think that's going to be really the, this type of build. So a spin cycle and two step is where this is going to really shine at. Of course, you will get that slithery on silver. All right. So for the most part, the finishing is really solid, in my opinion. Um, we already spoke on this. We're going 96 on that three ball, right? 96 three ball. That's really because we want to get this limitless on gold, right? You want to have that ability to be really, truly stretch the floor. So you better do that with that 96. You get dead eye on gold, also blinders and agent threes on gold, respectfully. All in all, really solid. Now, you will get catch and shoot on Hall of Fame, Green Machine Hall of Fame, and Space Creator Hall of Fame. So for my individuals, I love to really do moving shots and hop shots. This is going to be really strong. Spot finder, that's for more off ball, but you get Claymore, you get corner specialists, open looks, 
And then again, you get whistle on goal. So you can shoot knowing that, hey, man, if it's a close contest, most likely I'll get a foul call. So there is a lot of positives in going this high in your three ball. Um, open looks, and you need a lot of stuff that can be stacked. So you can get the open look stacked, shoot in the corner, right, with the space creator. That's going to all stack together. All right or do a fade in the corner you get the agent threes corner specialist open looks all stacking together that's why it makes it so easy to hit shots in this game because there's a lot of shooting badges especially if you get them at golden hall of fame that just reinforce the ability to hit hit open shots or contested shots so you want to really push for this 96 on this guard especially if you be running pro-am or um, stage in this because you're going to be in a lot of tight windows okay um, then you want to go 84 on your midi and that's really just to get that midi position on gold um, again just trying to get that gold bad so we can finish strong um, in the mid range if need be with a quick little fade then we're going to go 81 on the free throw um, obviously this is more for the pro-am side but you want to be able to hit your free throw shots so getting the free points on the um and silver is really strong but an 80 free throw is more than enough to be able to hit consistently um especially if you have a free throw that you're really strong confident in utilizing in you know it really well you better hit those shots really good okay um pass accuracy for the most part most people is just kind of standard going 77 on the pass accuracy i know some people going really low with the 68 but i think 68 is the lowest you should go 77 is probably the highest you want to go because of the attributes you're utilizing so 77 is going to be really strong here you still get that needle threader um again that does call stun animations for people that's trying to cheat in the paint and in the corner um I, is it going to be as high as silver or is it going to be as frequent as silver or gold or hall of fame no right but to me I, it feels like they happen in the clutches situation so um i always at least want to have that on bronze okay so we go with that 77 we're all going to go 95 ball handle for steve francis um that's by far the best so you want to try to get that steve francis I'm animations you will get the handles for days on hall of fame which is good you got ankle breaker hall of fame right so that's really strong um let's before we do that let's just come here we want to go 90 obviously that's going to give us um our uh Kyrie Irving so you want to have Kyrie Irving with Steve Francis gonna be really crazy um so you got the blow buys on gold hyper drive on gold speed booster on gold and triple strike on gold you have the 95 ball handle you even get physical handles on bronze by getting that strength again every little thing matters okay so this is what we're looking at defensively there's nothing there now let's say for instance you want to have defense if you want to have defense then my humble opinion is you want to go ahead and take away your driving dunk and standing dunk all right it's as simple as that and then this be a straight layup doing teardrops and that type of deal it's really your preference here um you know like really you can try to shoot for 58 right i mean that's the only thing i can think of right you can try to shoot for 58 but again that's not going to really work um, you need the 99 here you gotta have that 86 maybe drop 73 down here to get the bronze you know silver blow buys right but to me i'm just like eh i, I really like that you know having blow buys on gold um again maybe you drop your your shooting right there and then you can get at least get a 58 get that off ball pass right here you know maybe you want the off ball pass but remember we're talking about like you know in the, like a guard is meant to score his defense is not his secondary he's just going to sit corner defensively but if you want to take your driving dunk and your standing dunk away there's a lot of damage you can do here obviously as you see this go straight layup then what you could do is you can go sick um something here you can go 60 uh 68 right and get that off ball pass on silver right um, again, like I said, there's so many options here that you could do, um, but for the most part, you're, 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 you know I mean, like, you know, you're here to score, right? Like, that's your job is to score. So it's like, there's no need to sit here and try to split hairs. For me, I feel like offensively, you want to make sure you can hit off fastest and score and this hits it, all right? But I think it comes out as a three point shot hunter or something like that. But let me know in the comment section what you think about this actual guard build. What would you change differently? You know, you know what do you like, what you don't like? I'm definitely interested to see what the conversations are like in the comment section. But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on the banger, man. And you know, when I say back soon on the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.